gaan drie oceanen over, op zoek naar meer dan 100 verhalen. Maar al die verhalen stellen dezelfde vraag. Hoe staat de aarde er nu voor? Langs de route van Darwin en de Beagle gaan wetenschappers ons laten zien wat we weten over biodiversiteit en klimaatverandering. Maar ook over de mens zelf. De mens die inmiddels een beetje voor God probeert te spelen. Darwin deed het in vijf jaar, wij doen het in tien maanden. Het wordt een ongelofelijke wereldreis. Fantastisch gevoel dat Darwin het gehad hebben de eerste keer dat hij echt het regenwoud zag. Ik ben er ook al een aantal keer in geweest en ik herinner mij nog mijn allereerste keer regenwoud. Het is echt zo'n emotioneel overdonderend gevoel. Je denkt echt zo van de Hof van Ede moet er zo uitgezien hebben. Totdat je er een paar dagen in moet rondlopen en ook de nadelen van het woud naar boven komen, dan is het ineens een ander verhaal. Maar dat is een verhaal voor later. I think this must be the most pristine spot that I've been to, that Darwin went to. Everywhere else I've been, there's changes, but this just looks absolutely perfect. It's very, very wonderful to be here. He, he writes very descriptively about being here. Um, so one can really build up a, a feeling of what he was feeling. So being here, you know, you're feeling like he's with you. He might just come around the corner. Well, actually, quite emotional. The Falklands is, is bleak, but on a day like this, it's got its own beauty. I'm sure Darwin thought that. And it must have given him a lot of thought to you know, when he saw all the different penguins and the different birds, you know, he, might, he sort of seemed to fight this steamer duck, you know, well, why can't it fly, you know, and, you know, gave him food for thought when he came down here, you know, even if he didn't like the weather. <laughs> Certainly my wife and I have benefited from the system materially. I think it's very good that we can give our benefits back to society. We've donated a national park to Argentina, one to Chile. Uh, we're working on three or four more. My children know that. They're not going to receive any inheritance from me. And I'm giving all that I have in material sense to um, national parks. On a sloping tract of ground in a slight hollow is a small lake of liquid mud in patches of blue, red or white, and in many places boiling and bubbling most furiously. At one of the smaller marginal jets, I held my hand to see if it was really as hot as it looked, when a little drop of mud that spurted onto my finger scalded like boiling water. 